Welcome to NX CAM course. In this session, we will discuss the general steps of NX CAM. Okay, the first step that we need to make to identify the part, to identify the part and the blank. The part is the final part that we need to get. The blank is the initial raw material that we will put inside the CNC machines to start cutting operation. This part blank is the workpiece. Then we will create the tool, then we will create the operation, milling, turning, whatever. And then we will see the simulation or the verification, the cutting move we will see, and then we will get the output, the post process and shop documentation. Okay, let's start these steps. This is the part and this is the plank. So the yellow is the part and this is the plank. Okay, uh, first of all, I will go to application manufacturing to go to the manufacturing interface. Okay, first I will identify as we agreed part and the plank. Okay, from workpiece here, from geometry view, Okay, work piece. We have select part. This is the part. Okay, and the blank. Specify blank. So choose this. Okay, then the material. Okay, steel. steel. Okay, so this is the first two steps or three steps work piece we identified part and the plan then we will create the tool create the tool from here we have two options to create the tool to retrieve tool from library to choose tool from library or to create tool with the dimension that we need okay i will create tool mill and mill okay here the dimension that you need to put and the tool number for example one and this is the dimension that we put okay one inch as a diameter and we can make length for example five okay or six and all of this dimension you can put like what we said and also the material to be for example hsm carpet okay so this is the tool so now we created the tool we are ready to do the operation okay create operation we have this operation here we have categories mill planner if i will work on planner surface 2.5 axis and hole making if i will work drilling mill contour if i will work 3x like this part and rotary we will see and multi x if we will use 4 and 5 axis multi blade we will see for specific operations okay and turning turning vertical and so on okay we will use mill contour we will use the cavity mill rough contoured shape by removing the material in planner cut levels normal to fix it tool x okay this is the most common rough operation in nx program mill work piece rough so this is the parameter that we already defined and i will make it rough and this is the name of the operation okay you will be in this dialog box this tool okay cut pattern the cut pattern the strategy that we will cut we have different types of strategy okay we will make this step over this is the distance between two two passes in the same level this is the distance between two passes in the same level as we will see okay i will make it 70 percent of the tool and common depths this is the difference between the levels in the z-axis in the z-axis 
Okay, I will open again. So this is the difference between the tool. Okay, I will do generate. Generate after you finish, you must make generate this. After you finish any operation, you must make generate to see these two different the different types of parameters. Okay. Here, if I will look from above, the step over, this is the step over. The step over is the horizontal distance within the same level. This is the step over. This is the 70% of the tool. Okay, what about the depth per cut? Depth per cut is this distance. The vertical distance. When it cut one level, it go down, then another level, it go down. So this is the maximum distance. This is the common depth per cut. If I will make this 0.09, you must make generate again. If you change it something and you will see the difference that the depth per cut increased like this. This is 0.09. Okay, so this is the important two parameters. This is the most important two parameter. If I change this also to be 50, for example, this will be reduced. This distance will be reduced. So this is the most, yes, like this. So this is the most common parameters that we need to identify during any operation. We have here some cutting uh, parameters. Cut direction, this is cut direction. Climb or conventional cut, this is what you will do. Cut order, we will see in another part because it's not uh, suitable to try it here. Okay, I will make okay. So I did the first operation. So now we did the operation. Okay, then we will see the simulation of the cutting and to get the post process and shop documentation. Okay, this. I will open again or from here you can make verify to see it and to see it 3D also but here fine display fine okay play this is the speed of the animation and this is the animation as we see this is the cutting move Okay. You can make zoom and rotate. It's okay. To see what happened to the part. Okay. So this is the uh, operation. If I change this, for example, to be 1.2 uh, for example to finish faster but it will be the it will be not quite uh, not good quality at the end we will see this is very big tips per cut but I need to finish this uh, to take one option okay this is the part after the roughing operation as we see we have some we have a big material remaining like this because we used parameters very high parameters this is one inch so we can make it also five to see the difference 0.5 so this is the situation and also to do verify play so this is another okay so we know now the difference between the common depth per cut and step over okay okay now we will get the post process i will select the operation and here we have post process so you must make uh, mill 3x and okay okay so you will have the gcode file like this this is the gcode file that you need okay and then also you can get the 
shop documentation from here shop documentation here you can find operation and the tool list like this okay don't show this is the required shop documentation report for the part with the operation with the tool that we used and so on the parameters that we used okay so this is the general operations general steps in nx as a general when we do any operation we will make the same steps thank you very much